Hey everyone, welcome back to another video about how to make your own race car. Today we're going to be building the air intakes for the engine. We start with a large chunk of styrofoam made up from several layers cut on the bandsaw and glued together with spray on adhesive. We cut that roughly to shape on the bandsaw and then sand it down with sandpaper and whatever else we can find to get the correct shape. Then we coat it with a layer of wall putty, water-based, sand that down and get it smooth. And we make a flange off of the original body buck for mounting it onto the engine cover. We fit those things together and get them aligned on the car, glue the foam shape onto the flange, and then we'll be covering it with the fiberglass. So first we mix up some fiberglass resin and wet down the combined shape. Then we lay on the first layer of fiberglass cloth. Once again, we're using the 200 gram per square meter cloth that we always use. It takes a while to figure out how to lay this cloth onto this complex shape in a way where you get no wrinkles and uh, not too much overlap and so on. But it is possible. And I lay on the second layer now. Spend some time getting it nice and smooth. Don't want any wrinkles in this. I like to put the epoxy resin into the most difficult areas first and then work on the easy areas later. Using a flexible plastic spatula to work it in there. Okay, that's the third layer of fiberglass cloth. The seam that we get is on the bottom side of the scoop, so it won't be visible. We have to work, work to make sure there are no air bubbles. There's the fourth layer of cloth. Kind of trying to offset the seam on the bottom side a little bit, so side to side, so you don't get too much of a bulge in just one place. Now after it cures, we cut off the extra flange using the bandsaw. Turns out the bandsaw is very useful for this. And we sand it smooth on the belt sander. Then some more block sanding of the outside surface. We're going to lay on some putty on the outside, sand that smooth later on. Now we're going to cut out all the foam from the inside using a, uh, I think it's a 20, 21,000 RPM die grinder, using a uh, cylindrical head on it to grind the inside of the flange first. Now switching to a smaller diameter, maybe 3 8 inch diameter, to cut the sharp corner at the back of the flange. Now I'm switching to a spherical shaped head because that runs the least chance of cutting into the inside of the fiberglass. Now it's just a matter of going through it and getting rid of that foam. Needless to say, this die grinder cuts through foam like uh, like butter. Still takes some time though. Now we get out the famous 
stainless steel spatula with a round nose, and we start chipping away at the fiber at the uh, the foam that's inside, trying to pry it off of the fiberglass where we can. I coated the form with a couple coats of wax, mold release wax, before fiberglassing it. Probably could have used a bit more. It comes off, but with some work. Now using some sandpaper on the inside to grind away the last pieces and smooth out the flange, smooth out the outside a little bit. And there we have two of them. Repeat for the second one. Now there's the auto body putty being used to fill in, and then we sand and fill and prime and fill and then paint. And then we mount it on the car. Started with a couple of, with three Clecos holding each one in place to get the alignment right, and then glued it down. And here's the finished result. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.